Greetings. Today we're going to talk about plastics. Back in the 70s or 60s, I guess it was, when they had the movie Mrs. Robinson, the secret of success was plastics. Today, it's not. Today we've learned that there are plastics that are not so good for our health. And I want to talk about a few of those because not every plastic is bad, but certainly you need to know something. And that started with me about six years ago when an engineer for a plastic company came into my office and said, Dr. Ross, don't use anything that's made out of soft plastic, like the wraps they recommend around your food. He said, you're going to find out that it's carcinogenic and that it causes health problems. I thought he might be right, so I did some research, and sure enough, there were some indications. Today, there's overwhelming information all over the Internet if you decide to search in Google, of course. So let's talk about phthalates because they're part of your environment. They come from the little soft, clingy wrap you wrap around your food, which you're not going to do anymore. They come from plastic water bottles, and a good source of them is those room deodorizers that are not of natural origin, these synthetic ones that evaporate and puff all over your room and make it smell nice, but it may not be so nice. So what are the issues with these sources of phthalates? Spelled in a very odd way, PHT, etc. Anyway, um, these phthalates can affect children, and that's of importance. So let's talk about them first. In studies being done recently, children who have asthma have been found to have much higher concentrations of phthalates in their body. Children with ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, you've heard it many, many times. Why do so many children have this problem? We don't know yet, but now we find out that their blood levels and their urine levels are much higher with phthalates, and it's probably a factor. How about the fact that women who are surrounded by plastics in their environment, when they have children, their male children are less male. They have less male activity because of phthalates imitate a female hormone in the body, and it changes the way the child develops. This is how significant these things are. Anything that mimics a hormone, which phthalates do, can have major effects on your whole body in many, many systems and the development of young children. So if you're pregnant or thinking of getting pregnant, restrict your contact to any plastics and room deodorants and, and room sprays and um, water bottles. Remember this. Another thing, in, in adults, it turns out that phthalates are linked to cancer, particularly te testicular cancer in men, and probably other forms of cancer too, because they upset the male hormone system, because they act like female hormones. Another interesting fact is it's now been found that phthalates are linked to obesity and metabolic syndrome. You've heard the word metabolic syndrome in the news over and over. It means you may have high blood pressure, diabetes, obesity. The major link right now is to obesity, which causes all of the above that we just mentioned, because obesity damages your whole body. But the metabolism of your body can be damaged by phthalates. So by all means, think about changing the way you're doing some of the things you're doing because it will protect your eyesight, because our concern is anything that affects your metabolism creates cataracts, glaucoma, hypertension, diabetes, all the things that make our patients blind. The other things I've mentioned are just as important to you, and so they're important for you to know about. And you need to know why fatalities are something you need to restrict and remove from your environment. There are simple ways to do this. You don't have to wrap your food in plastic wrap. Yes, it keeps it nice, but you know what? They make these nice little plastic, excuse me, glass bowls that are plastic tops. You can fill the glass bowl with food and just keep it away from the plastic top and it's sealed in your refrigerator. It's something you don't have to throw out and pollute the environment with. It's a little more expensive than the plastic wrap, but not really because you keep dumping the plastic wrap in the garbage. The bowls you can wash and reuse. So that's one thing. Plastic water bottles, forget about it. Don't use them. Cans. Now this is going to be a, a sore subject with many people, but cans are not cans. They're lined with plastic in America and probably in other countries too, though it's restricted in some parts of the world. The plastic in the cans release phthalates into your food. So this is something you need to think about. When you purchase products, you may not want to buy canned products. And there are many ways to avoid that because this is a source of poison to your husband, to your children, and to yourself if you're the wife who buys the food and cooks the food, perhaps. So what are phthalates? Phthalates are the things that are plastic, part of plastic. They're softening agents. They're common in your environment. What are the issues? They can affect your children's, your children's attention. They can affect your, your adult life, causing cancer and obesity. It's something you want to remove from your environment because one way or another, 
eventually it's going to affect your eyesight, your health, and your life. I hope you found this interesting, and I hope you'll do some research on your own on the internet and learn more.